okay so as we discussed about docker hub let's first look at it you can just type docker hub on your browser and it will take you to the docker hub website now this is the official website for docker hub docker hub ultimately has a lot of images inside it be it busybox ubuntu python and docker itself now when you click on any particular image it shows you the particular tags the recent tags over here implies the particular versions that it has released for the docker container and it also shows that this is a docker official image we will be pushing our images to docker hub it won't be getting this particular sign at the first go it needs to be verified by docker because if you just try to spin or run any particular docker image it might also contain virus so be aware of that so it also shows who is maintaining the particular docker image and also has a little bit of introduction on what the particular image is all about before we pull our first image and run it make sure your docker hub is all set and the docker engine is running just click on here and you can see docker desktop is running so just like any other programming language we have a hello world from docker itself so let's pull our first image so we can write docker run hello dash world so if we just write run it will pull the image and execute it so we will have a running instance of our image meaning we will be having a hello world container so we won't be doing that because we will at the first just pull the image because whenever we pull the image it does not mean that we are running it so as you can see we have not mentioned any versions so it pulled the latest version we have a docker digest i will be explaining what digest means exactly but as of now let's focus on running it so to run any particular docker image all you need to do is use the command docker run and then the image name and you can find this message hello from docker so i hope you learned something from the video and in the next video we will be walking around and playing with the docker containers and we will be configuring them changing the names we will also see how we can list out all the docker images that are running and to make sure to get the next video make sure to hit the subscribe button and thanks a lot for watching